Managing your inventory at Amazon has never been trickier. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up shipping alerts and why you should probably review this every so often. Selling on Amazon is difficult. It's everything but passive income. I share videos like this one to help Amazon sellers on their journey. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. When Amazon turns your world upside down, tune into My Amazon Guy to land safely and grow your Amazon business. All right, so if you go into Seller Central, go to your inventory page, you can pick any SKU. So one of the interesting things about the one I'm choosing is I've had to create a duplicate SKU, which is totally kosher with Amazon, but not duplicate ASINs. That would not be kosher. So it's on the same ASIN, but I had to recreate the SKU because there was a bug with the original one. And so uh, the shipping alert then had to be reset up, which prompted me to shoot this video. So in here, I had a shipping alert previously set up on this SKU. And by the way, if you ever create duplicate SKUs, everything that you set up from shipping alerts to advertising has to be recreated. Uh, advertising is done at the SKU level, not the ASIN level. Common, common mistake when somebody sets up a new SKU and they're like, why am I not getting any sales? It's because they forgot to set up the advertising for that dupe SKU. All right, so let's go into the shipping alert here. So you just select the one that you want to do from the manage inventory page. You can also do this from the manage FBA inventory page. Both pages work. There's two ways you could select this. You could do multiples and then select the drop down up here, or you could go to the far right and select just the single one and get to the same spot. Send and replenish inventory on either one of those uh, set, set replenishment alerts uh, uh, drop down there. All right, so if we click into that, it will then state, okay, what kind of alert would you like to get? So if you go in here, you can select when fulfillable quantity reaches X units or when weeks of coverage reaches weeks. I prefer the weeks one because I like to know well in advance, like when I'm running low. And with supply chains never been messier, more delays than ever before, I put this alert out quite a ways. I would say eight weeks. Once my inventory is under eight weeks, I want to know so that I can start prepping my shipment. Some of you might want to put this at a significantly lower threshold. So, for example, if you have your own warehouse, your own 3PL, you might put four in there for example, because your turnaround's a little bit quicker. Uh, but I would never do anything shorter than four, and that's because one out of 10 shipments takes 30 days to check in, and you don't know which one of that shipments is gonna be. So if you're, you know, you got your own control, maybe do four, maybe do five. I prefer eight weeks on my threshold. So when I hit save here, it will then send me an email whenever my inventory goes below eight weeks on that SKU. You can do this at, you could have totally different alert levels for every product. So let's say you cover multiple brands, multiple warehouses, no matter what your structure is, you can set up each of these inventory alerts to whatever makes sense at the SKU level. Maybe on one, you want an eight week threshold, maybe on another, you want a four week threshold, and maybe on a third one, you just want to know when you're under hundred units, whatever it might be, you can customize this. These are great tools that are embedded straight into Seller Central. I personally use them. I do not use a third-party software to tell me what to ship in. I'm next going to show you what that shipping replenishment alert looks like. So if you come into uh, this email, it will then put at the very top the latest SKU. Notice how it says first notification for newly detected SKUs below weeks of coverage threshold. So you're my person. I have uh, hit the seven week threshold. I'd set seven weeks on this at the time. And so now it's saying, hey, you need to create a shipment for that. I then take the SKU, go to the create the shipment, figure out what it allows me to ship in. And based on my past numbers, I usually extrapolate and try and ship in at least a two month supply at any given time. Uh, if you go to the business reports and to get to the business reports, you just go into Seller Central, put your cursor over reports, business reports. On the far left hand side, uh, sale by ASIN detail page sales and traffic. In here, you can see each individual ASIN and how many units they've sold. So if I was going to use a two month supply threshold, I would come in here, look at the total order items column, times this by two, and then subtract whatever my quantity at Amazon currently is. 
there is a way to make that into a push button macro report. We do that for our clients at my Amazon guys. So if you are tired of managing your inventory and just want somebody to tell you what to ship and when, we do have uh, systems in place to manage that on your behalf. Go to myamazonguy.com. Um, but if you want to do it manually, uh, you basically just take your total order items, subtract out what your current inventory is, and then ship that in. Back to the replenishment email. In here, you're going to notice there's also repeat notifications for SKUs below weeks of threshold coverage. So after you get your first notification, it then sloughs down to this section. So let's say you missed your last replenishment or you only had one SKU, but you want three or four SKUs to go on a shipment. So you were waiting for another two or three to be ready because maybe because you're palletizing, whatever it might be. Uh, then you can see your recent ones that are right below that. And you can see your fulfillable quantity, weeks of coverage, et cetera, all there with good information. So hopefully that was helpful to help you set up your replenishment alerts. There's one other thing I'm going to show you. If we go back to the inventory page in Seller Central, you can now see a bell, a red or a yellow bell. Red means you don't have enough coverage, enough inventory at Amazon based on the, uh, th uh, the threshold alert that you set up and you need to ship more in. So not only do you get an email when you need to ship, but if you look at your inventory page at any point in time, you can quickly glance and audit and say, hey, I've got three red bells, I need to ship these in. Hey, I've got a yellow bell here, don't need to ship that one in quite yet. So very beneficial to be able to track this from various different means. And, and the, I, love, I love the system that Amazon's put together here. I think it's actually quite good. And you put your cursor over any one of those red bells. You can see what kind of alert you've set up, quantity seven weeks. If I were to go back in and go back to the send re, set replenishment alerts tab and scroll over, I can then see here's what I set previously. Maybe I need to change that to six. Maybe I need to change that to eight. So you can go in there and edit it at any point in time as well. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, leave a comment on this video. That's how I get uh, more exposure. Leave a comment about your cat. Leave a comment about what question you might have that's off topic. Doesn't matter. Just leave a comment. And if you haven't uh, checked out myamazonguy.com for full service management, give us a whirl. We manage everything from advertising, SEO, design, and catalog. I list out every type of service that we do from A plus content to parentages to listing reinstatements to product research to review management. You name it, we do it all. Full service management at myamazonguy.com.